Hi, today I'm going to do one of my very highly requested videos, which is my MAC lipstick collection. And I get a lot of questions about MAC lipsticks and which ones I recommend and which ones I own. So I just thought I'd show you all the ones I have. Um, when I buy a MAC lipstick, I always look at blogs and videos first. So I thought this might be helpful to some of you if you hadn't seen some of these shades before. I just want to start by saying I really do like MAC lipsticks. I think they're really good quality. I like the smell, which is quite important to me. And um, they smell quite vanilla-y, I think. And I just think it's really easy. They have a lot of different shades, a lot of different finishes. Um, MAC section their lipsticks by finishes like Creme Machine, Luster, so it's the formula of the lipstick. So once you find the one you like and you get used to the different formulas, it's quite easy to go and pick up a new lipstick in a shade that will suit you. And I think it can be really overwhelming going into a MAC store or onto a counter and trying to find a new lipstick. So my tip for that would be to just really take your time, don't feel rushed, don't worry if people ask you if you want help, just take your time tr trying all the different lipsticks, looking at the finishes, working out which ones you like. Um, you can try on lipsticks in the store, they clean them for you, so don't be afraid to ask for that. And do your research first. I think looking at swatches on blogs, um, Tentalia have, has like every swatch for MAC, um, I think that really helps kind of seeing things online and looking at other people who have similar skin tones to you and if it suits them it's probably likely to suit you. So um, yeah, just don't feel too overwhelmed and don't feel rushed into buying one of the lipsticks because they are quite expensive now, they've gone up in price so I think that's quite important. I have 16 lipsticks, I think I started buying MAC lipsticks when I was about 14, maybe a bit younger. Um, I don't buy them as often now and when I do buy them I really kind of think about it first and try them on. So I have got some here that I bought at the beginning that I don't like that much and some that I really love. There's definitely quite a few that I bought just because of the hype around them. When I'm in a good mood, I'll buy a lipstick like that, it's so easy. And I've got a few really bright colours that I will never wear, but they're the most fun to buy, so <laughs> I'm definitely guilty of that. So I'm going to start by talking through my creme machine, and I have four of those. Creme machines are just really moisturising, easy to wear, and they're the kind of lipsticks that I really like. I think that's probably my favourite finish, along with Lustre. Um, I just find them really easy to wear and comfortable on the lips. So the first one is Creme de Nude, and this is one that I don't wear at all anymore. I bought it when I was a lot younger and going through kind of a nude lip stage, and it's just literally the most nude, nude, nude ever. It's far too pale for me, it looks like I'm wearing concealer on my lips, but a lot of people really like that look, so if you do, i definitely recommend this one, but it just doesn't suit me at all, it makes me look really ill, but the formula is really nice. Then I have Fanfare, which is a pretty summer colour, and this is like a very pale peachy pink, and um, it is quite hard for me to wear this one. I feel like when I wear two kind of pink, light pink colours, it, it just doesn't really work with me, but I find if I like pat this one into the lips, I think with most of my MAC lipsticks, if I find that it's not working, kind of rubbing it into my lips with my finger really helps, so it's not so, it's not so much like a pop of colour. Um, but this is a pretty one for the summer, kind of corally tone. Then I have Hot Gossip, which I really, really like. It's a bit more of like a deeper pink. Um, it looks quite light in the bullet, but when it goes on my lips, it kind of looks a bit darker. And I think that's a really pretty, kind of easy one to wear day or night. And I really like wearing that one, actually. Then there's On Hold, which is a newer one for me, and it's a more brighter pink colour, but not kind of bluey toned, which are the ones that I kind of need to stay, stay clear of because they just don't work with my skin tone for some reason. But this is a bit more of like a reddy pink and I really like it. It has got a bit of a kind of a pearly finish to it, I think, which I'm not sure about. I'm not sure if I like that or not, but I find when I kind of dab this in with my finger, it looks really nice and this is one that I've been wearing quite a lot recently. Then onto my luster finishes, I have five, so this is the most popular finish in my collection. I really like Lustre. It's kind of like a sheerer lipstick, so the colour's not too strong, which means it's kind of easy to put on for like an everyday look, really easy and comfortable to wear, and they're really moisturising as well. I think they leave a bit of a glossy finish. So the first one I have is Patisserie, and this is another kind of nude lip. I haven't worn this for a long time, but I went through a stage of wearing it a lot, which is why there's not much left of it. It's a pretty nude. I think this nude kind of suits me the most out of a lot of nudes but like I said I haven't worn nudes in a long time so I don't wear this that often anymore 
but I do really like this one and I'd recommend trying it if you want a nice nude because it's not too kind of concealer nude, it's, it's, it's very subtle. The next one is a Viva Glam and this is Viva Glam 5. For the Viva Glam lipsticks all the money goes to charity which is really good. Uh, this one I bought after watching Tanya Burr's top 10 MAC lipsticks I think and it looked gorgeous on her but it doesn't really suit me which is such a shame, I hate when that happens. But it's a kind of a more browny colour. Um, the problem I found with this is it's kind of a bit sparkly which I did not expect. Um, and I don't really like that and it's just a bit too brown for me. I think if it had a bit more pink in it, it would be better for me but it was a bit too much brown so it looks a bit too like grown up for me I think. But Tanya Burr loves this one and it really suits her, it's just a shame it doesn't really suit me. The next one is Cut a Caper and this one I bought from the hype definitely, all the bloggers are buying it and it looked gorgeous. It is actually really pretty, it's like a really nice coral colour and it's really nice for the summer. It's just a little bit too bright for me. When I wear colours that are a bit too bright and poppy, it just because I've got such dark features, I don't know, I just think it doesn't look great on me. If I put this on really lightly, then it's quite nice. Then I have Syrup, which is my all-time favourite out of all these lipsticks. It's my favourite MAC lipstick ever. I've nearly finished it, and it looks kind of funny in the bullet. It looks a bit brown, but it's kind of a sheer, purpley toned, everyday, nude kind of lipstick. It's... A bit similar to Plumful but a lot easier to wear and just a nice daytime lipstick. I wear this all the time and I absolutely love it and I don't know it just really works with my skin tone and hair colour and stuff. The next one is Plumful which is another kind of new one and I really like this as well. Really pretty plum colour. I talked about this in my favourites video in December I think and really nice kind of winter, autumn winter colour and I really like the plummy tones. So then on to Amplified, and I have three from these. Amplified is basically just a really pigmented, strong colour, but they're still quite moisturising and easy to wear, but the colour payoff is really good. So if you want like a sheer lipstick, then don't go for Amplified. But the first one is Bricola, and Bricola. That sounds weird when I say it, but this is a new one that I just bought with my Back to Mac. Back to Mac is a program that MAC have where you can take back six empty products, six empty MAC products, and you get a free lipstick. So I had six empty eyeshadow pots and I took them back and I got this, which is really good. And this one I got because Este from Essie Button spoke about it and she also likes Plumful, so I thought I might like this as well. And this is the one I'm wearing today and I do really like it. It's kind of like, as the name suggests, like a bricky, reddy brown. And um, I actually used a brush to apply this because I find with dark lipsticks it's easier to use a brush and I just really work it into the lips and then it lasts all day. Otherwise it kind of smears a bit. But I really like this actually. Um, it's definitely for like the wintery months but I'm a fan so far. The next one is Watch Me Simmer. Another one I bought because of the hype around it and this is like a really bright orangey coral and it just doesn't suit me at all. I mean, I wish I could wear these colours, but I'm not sure. I, I keep them because sometimes I might wear them and I always like to kind of try them again because, you know, my likes always change and I might end up really liking this. So I always keep trying it, but at the moment, not a massive fan. I'll see when the summer comes around, I'll try it again. And then Saint Germain, which is just the most awful colour for me. I'm sure a lot of people love it, but it's like a proper baby Barbie pink and it just doesn't suit me at all. I've got photos of me wearing this at uni and it just looks awful. I think it's the contrast between kind of my dark eyebrows, dark hair and then like a bright pink lipstick. It just literally looks awful on me. But if you like baby pinks then this is a pretty intense one. So that's Saint Germain and I know a lot of people do like that one. Then I have another Viva Glam and this is in a satin finish and this is Viva Glam Nikki. I bought this for the hype and again this is another bright that doesn't suit me and that I don't wear. It's a very, very pink. It's kind of like, I don't know, Saint Germain's more of a baby pink, this is like a brighter pink. It's an amazing lipstick and I love owning it but it doesn't really suit me. And then I have Angel which is a frost finish. And I really like this actually for if I want to have more like baby pink then this is the kind of baby pink that suits me rather than the bright kind of neon baby pink. This is more of like a softer rose pink and I really like Angel actually. Sometimes it's a bit too bright for me, it kind of depends on my skin tone throughout the year. But if I want a baby pink then this is a really nice one. 
And then I just have two more and these are matte finishes and the matte lipsticks from MAC are really good and really intense. I definitely recommend using a brush to apply them but they last really well um, and it's also good to use a lip liner as well so they don't kind of bleed off the edge of the lips. Uh, the first one is Chili which I bought last autumn and this is kind of a dark red with an orangey tone to it. It's a bit like Brick Ola but matte and I really like this actually and I think this really suits kind of my skin tone. I haven't worn it, it's quite, for me wearing a matte lipstick is quite an effort and it's quite a bold statement so I don't wear them that often but when I do I really like both of these. The next one's Russian Red which is one of MAC's kind of classic red lipsticks and it's a really nice deep red, it's not too bright, I can't really wear bright bright red lipsticks and kind of, I don't feel comfortable wearing them but because this is a bit darker it's a bit more kind of grown up and really pretty and I think this is the one that I wore on Christmas Day actually and everyone complimented me on it so I really like that one. And those are all my MAC lipsticks so I hope it was helpful kind of seeing the ones I have, seeing swatches, I hope the swatches came out alright. Please let me know what your favourite MAC lipstick is by commenting below, I always want to try new ones and there's so many, like every time I go in there I think that I've tried them all but then I always discover new ones so I definitely want to hear your recommendations and thank you for watching, bye! That's really good and it's kind of nice to... And with the Viva Glam lipsticks, all the money for them goes to... All the money for them... And for the Viva Glam lipstick... And for the... Oh my god... And for the Viva Glam lipsticks, all the money for them go... Oh my 